satisfy COPA's specific guidelines. According to the FTC's rules, your privacy policy must include the following information to be fully compliant. Names, addresses, and phone numbers of the site slash service operators. Type of information collected. How information is collected from users. How the site slash service operators use the collected information. If the operators disclose collected information to third parties, and how those parties use the information. Description of how a parent has the option to consent to the collection of their children's information from the site without agreeing to the disclosure of that information to third parties. Explanation of parental rights, including the rights to avoid disclosure of more information about children under the age of 13 that is necessary, refuse to provide information about a child, and review information that has been submitted to the operator about the child in question. COPPA requires that you feature your privacy policy on the home page of your website, as well as on any part on the site where you collect information from children. 
Education software class X privacy policy is a great example of how this policy looks on a fully topic compliant site, and here is the picture of it. By structuring information using questions, the policy is user-friendly with a simple and straightforward table of contents that operates like a copy fac. Before collecting information from children, COPPA requires that you present a direct notice to parents requesting their consent. You must inform parents of the following. That information, such as the child's parent or guardian's name and email address, was collected in order to obtain consent, and the collected information will be deleted after a reasonable amount of time, if no further consent is given. That you wish to collect information from their child. The type of information you will collect from their children, and how it will be used. That they must consent, before your business can collect, use, and disclose their children's information. How they can find your privacy policy. How they can give their consent. Verifiable parental consent is consent given by a parent or guardian, in which the parent or guardian's identity has been reasonably confirmed. Under COPPA, you need to obtain this consent before collecting information from children. Below are the acceptable methods for obtaining consent from parents, and authenticating their identity, and they are, a signed consent form, use of a credit or debit card, at the time of a monetary transaction, a telephone call, a video conference call, challenge questions that would be difficult for someone other than the parent to answer correctly, and a photo ID. If the information you collect is only for your business's internal use, then you may use the email plus method to collect parents' consent. Simply email the parent asking for them to respond with their consent, and then confirm you have received it. The FTC uses various methods to enforce COPPA, and imposes high penalties on companies that fail to comply. To find violators, the FTC encourages internet users to submit a complaint for a site that they think is violating the guidelines. States and other federal agencies also have jurisdiction to enforce the law. For example, in 2016, New York's Attorney General found that Viacom, Mattel, Jumpstart, and Hasbro were all in violation of COPPA because an advertising partner they worked with used cookies to track personal information of their users. In the past, the maximum penalty per violation was $16,000. However, in 2016 the maximum penalty was increased to $40,654 per violation. Therefore, if you collect personal information from only 10 children, but do not comply with COPPA, you could be fined up to $4,065,400. Generally, the amount a business is penalized depends on how flagrant the violation is, and how much the company gained from the personal information. You can find the COPPA violator chart and termly.io slash resources slash article slash COPPA. While $170 million might not be much to a large company like YouTube, it could easily destroy a small or medium-sized business. If you made it this far, you should know how to comply with COPPA. Let's recap the key points about what COPPA means for online businesses. If you're looking for further COPPA guidance for your operations, start with the following resources. If your business is subject to COPPA, build a privacy policy and customize to meet the law's requirements to avoid penalties.